Tonight I'm working on the chain plates. Um, we got the, the bronze from uh, Jim Reinick and uh, just a wonderful fellow to work with. I had showed these uh, little pieces of oak, white oak, that I'd cut out uh, a while back and I'm just using these as backing plates. Um, I still have this one clamped in here. It's going to just uh, go in there behind frame number eight. And uh, so the one I'm, that's on, on star, but I'm working on the port one right now. Um, I'm going to run these bronze bolts through here. I got quarter inch bolts. We're going to go all the way through the hull. I feel rather certain it's overkill. I'm going to put four on each side. Um, so I decided I'll make my drill holes on the oak first and then clamp uh, the chain plate onto the oak and already have these pre-drilled and then I should be able to then go on and drill through the through the bronze. Now I'm not going to be able to video while I'm doing this and there's no convenient place to put the camera but we'll take some pictures after we're done. Uh, I tried to get a, a center line on here so I make sure and drill my holes and it is doing the math. I thought well I put one up here and one down here and then the distance in between there was eight and a quarter and divided that by three and it was about two two and three quarter inches in between so I got them fairly evenly spaced. Try to drill on the center line these are quarter inch bolts and I've got the drill press set up with a quarter inch bit. So we're going to do that, uh, drill four holes, then clamp this onto the oak and then try to drill through the bronze. Once we get that done, then we should be able to take it over on the boat, mark where those holes are, drill through the hull. And uh, my third rule of boat building is don't screw it up. Okay, here I've drilled two holes, and I've actually run the bronze bolts through. There's two of them in there. I've drilled two. I still have to drill two. I have my holes in the wood, and then I'm using the clamps to hold this down on the drill press uh, plate, and I've got that next one lined up. So uh, hopefully we should be able to just hit that hole and drill right through. And the reason I put those bolts through there is just to keep it aligned because it keeps slipping with the clamps. So let's see how we do here. So far so good. Okay, we're through it. See all this bronze is real fine when it comes off of that bit. That's cool stuff. Never drilled bronze before. Well, okay, one more to go. I've drilled two of these holes here, and I've got two two of the bolts through. I have to tell you, something feels very wrong about drilling holes through the hull of the boat. Um, <laughs> After all the work that we've gone through to get the hull just perfect, watertight and all that, uh, it's very difficult to take that drill and just go drill a hole through it. But it's going okay. Now I made a, I made a mistake. My top hole up here, the shear clamp's in the way. I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do about it. I may, um, I may be okay with just three bolts. In fact, four is probably overkill, especially going all the way through. Um, it's probably going to be more than more than secure enough. So the only other thing is that these are, uh, you know, we've got the curvature of the hull coming down like this. So they're, we're going to have to just kind of slowly and carefully bend these to fit them into place. And I haven't drilled this last hole down here yet. And I'm kind of waiting because, um, because of this curvature in here, I kind of figured uh, that could cause me some problems. So anyway, just going to kind of slowly tighten these. And I've got this part. This is where my my side shroud will connect, and uh, that's sticking up more than enough because the deck still has to come in here. Um, we should be good there. Though. 
I'm probably a good inch, inch and a quarter, inch and a half up. Now this is tightening up pretty nice. These bolts are a, a regular head on the other side, but I'm not having to use the screwdriver. There's enough pressure on these that they're, they're tightening up okay. My my, that's pretty hard wear. I do have this other hole up here, but by the time I put the deck on here, nobody's ever going to see it. That's, I'm sure it doesn't matter. And quite honestly, I think two bolts all the way through like this would probably be more than enough to hold this. You don't have a ton of pressure on these stays because the mast is pretty well secured in the middle. Even so, I have to think the two bolts all the way through here is, is, is plenty. But we're going to drill this last hole. Watch for face cringing. And we're through. We're through. Oh my. Okay. Uh, I want this washer. I've got washers. Look at that, it just came right through. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Washer in the bilge. Okay, so that's on there. We're still well above the water line on here. I'm not going to worry about filling these with 5200 or anything. Just uh, I don't think we'll take on any water because of these. I do believe why I may, may cut these off. They're just a little long. I don't know, maybe not. With the combing coming around here, Nobody's ever going to be able to get their back up against that anyway. It may be fine. If I do cut them off, I run the risk of bunging up the threads. So I think um, I think maybe no. Three is plenty, but I can almost pick the boat up with that. Not that we're going to try that. Okay, that is chain plates on the Haven. Thanks for watching. See you next time.